hello all in this video we are going to see how we can build a sample data pipeline using cloud data fusion so see the block diagram here so i am having gcs bucket and having some csv files with employee data in my bucket and i am using cloud data fusion to apply some transformation on the data and then i am loading the data into the cloud bigquery so let's go to cloud console and see how we can create a data pipeline using a uh, data fusion so let me open cloud console so i am on cloud console now let's navigate to the data fusion so it's here so let's open a data fusion so to create a pipeline in data fusion first we have to create a cluster and on that cluster we can create a pipeline so currently there is no cluster created here so first of all i'll create a cluster so click on create instance give the instance the instance name as a demo and then i'll keep a region as a us west one version i'll keep as it is edition i will take a developer Okay, then I'll go down. It will ask us to authorize service account. So I already authorized it. So I'll click on create. So let me reload. so the instance creation is in progress it will take few times so for now i am pausing this video we'll resume once cluster is created all right so our data fusion instance is up and running now so it took almost 13 to 14 minutes to create a data fusion instance so let's start a building pipeline so go to view instance okay so here are multiple connectors to build your data pipeline so we can use a bigquery or any database kafka mysql oracle so all connectors are provided here so for this video i am going to use a cloud storage so i have one sample file with 100 records at my cloud storage bucket so i am going to use these sample sales files for this video so let's uh, go to cloud storage and i'll go to demo bucket where my file is available and i'll select this sample csv file Okay, so 
I have files available here and this is a raw data so you could see the records here these are the column names like region country items so we can see the data but it's in a single field so let's pass it this is a CSV file so we can give it as a comma because the file is comma separated and we can treat the first row as a header so it will available now in a correct format so you can see this is the region country it's identified as a column so here you could see all the column names and the first row data is still available so let's delete that so i'll click on the columns and i'll click on delete column okay so we have data available now so let's apply some transformation on the data so we have multiple columns here and let's see the sales channels we have offline and online so i want data only for online transactions or like suppose i want the data only for offline transactions so i'll go here i'll apply filter keep rows if value is and i'll give here as a offline ignore case means i can ignore a capital or a small letters and i'll apply so now we have only records where sales channel is offline and we remove all the records having the sales channel online here we have order date order id ship date unit sold price total revenue and total profit so suppose i am loading the data into the bigquery and i don't want to display this column completely as a total profit so i want to mask this column so i just want to display only the last few digits of this column or value so i'll go here and i'll click on mask data so i want to show only last two characters okay so here you could see the total profit is masked now it's only showing last two characters okay so let's see if we can apply some more transformation okay now here the country i'll go to country i'll change the format i want country name to be in uppercase okay so all country name is now converted to the uppercase okay that's it uh, for this videos transformation so i'm not going to apply more complex transformation and we'll see all apply transformation here so we pass csv file we drop the raw body column and then we applied filter on sales channels it is offline and then we mask the number total profit and displayed only last two digits and we converted format type of a country column to the uppercase okay so let's create a pipeline with this transformation so we are fetching data from cloud storage and so it will be a batch pipeline okay so here we are now in a data fusion studio so now i have gcs file and the transformations available in the wrangler now i want to dump this data in the bigquery means we are treating bigquery as a sink so go in a sink click on bigquery it will be present here now now i'll connect i'll align this okay now we only define bigquery as a sing but we still yet to define what are the data set and the table where we need to load the data so i'll go to properties okay the bigquery is here 
I'll just give as a data fusion and demo. The data set we need to mention. So I check what are the data set available in my BigQuery. So let's quickly check that. Okay, so we have dev data set and currently not having any table. So I'll use the same data set as a dev. Table name I'll give as a data fusion sync. Temporary bucket name if I'm not giving it will create default bucket and rest I'm keeping as it is. So suppose if you don't want any of the columns to drop you can drop that column so currently I'm keeping all the columns and I, I will click on validate okay so no errors found and we have successfully validated the BigQuery sync okay now let's deploy pipeline so it will give me error because we didn't give any name to our pipeline so I am giving as a data fusion pipeline and I'll click on save now I'll try to deploy the pipeline the pipeline is being deployed now okay the pipeline is now deployed let's run this pipeline so here you could see the status is deployed now it is provisioning will wait for status to change now job status change to starting okay job is running now we can check the execution logs here so currently there are no logs so we'll wait for logs to generate Okay, so you could see the log started flowing now we can also check advanced log so here are some warnings we can ignore the warnings okay job is succeeded now you could see job status as a succeed Okay, and logs are here so let's see if we got the data in the BigQuery so there is no project so uh, there is no table available in dev data set let's uh, reload this page and we'll see if data fusion created any table and loaded the data into the table Okay, so here you could see the table is created. The table name is data fusion sync, which we have provided. So let's see the data. We'll query the table to see the data. We'll run a query. Okay, so that one transformation we have applied like the country name are capitals so we could see all country names are capital and the sales channel only offline data we got only offline channel then let's see the profit column so in total profit see the data we mask and in BigQuery we could see the mask data only so in this way we applied a transformation using the data fusion wrangler and that transform data we loaded into the 